This episode is brought to you by War, starring Jet Li and Jason Statham in theaters August 24th. To catch a cold-blooded killer, you need a cold-blooded cop. You and I are gonna finish this. Jet Li, Jason Statham, War, Rated R, in theaters August 24th. Everybody. It's me, Mark Miller. I'm here without Bendis at Wizard World Chicago for G14Productions.com. We're gonna have some fun today and see how many people recognize me. Aye. Excuse me, excuse me. My name is Mark Miller. I'm a comic writer for Marvel Comics. And um, I'm just wondering, what is being a Jedi like for the two of you? Jedi, so. <laughs> just a Jedi, so I wouldn't know. You're not Jedi's. No. Oh well, that well, that's disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> well, what would you be like if you were a Jedi? I have no idea. I don't. Since we're not Jedi's, I have not a clue. <laughs> oh, well, this has been a bit of a waste, hasn't it? <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> be. All right. Be. Well, have fun. Thank you anyway. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Mark Miller, and I'm here for my free porn. Where is it? This is a classic retail trick known as the bait and switch. <laughs> and That's great, but where's the porn? Oh. Give me your email and I'll send it to you. <laughs> Excellent. We got a webcomic we do three days a week. It's about the world's largest retail store. It's staffed by, you know, one normal guy. And then some superheroes, a drunken talking snake. They all work in the store. They all work in the store, that's right. <laughs> The art in the book looks lovely, and I'm an art snub, make no mistake. All right, so where's the porn then? <laughs> oh, we can go down to the pub here later and I'll get you some porn there. <laughs> oh my god, these are my favorite people now, but stop making fun of my accent. So give me a website where we can check it out then? Uh, it's jjsunshines.com. Excellent. So no porn, but um, decent book then. Brian. Brian, it's your old friend Mark Miller from Marvel. You're Bri Brian Bendis, everyone. So good to see you again, Brian. How are you doing out at the show this evening? Uh, actually, the name's Brandon. You're, you're not Brian Bendis. Mm. Brandon. Mm. The name's Brandon. Do, do you write books for Marvel? No, I don't. I thought you write like hundreds of books for Marvel. Not I. Oh, so you're girls and you write a comic? Uh-huh. I mean, don't get it. You're very cute, both of you. Are you sure you do comics? Yes, we do. We both draw our own comic books. All right, tell me about them. This is a web comic. It's called Farts. And this actually stands for Factual, Authentic, Real True Stories. And it's all that really actually does happen. It's about me and my fiance, my best friend, and people that I know. Her accent is dead sexy, isn't it? Not as sexy as yours. Oh, no, not as sexy as mine. I mean, I know that goes without saying, obviously. So tell me about yours. Oh, mine. Uh, mine is called Random Assembly. It's in this book right here. It's a compilation book. Well, uh, tell me, do you have a website that people can check out? Yes, I do. But you can get to all of our websites by going to biscuitpress.com. Did you know that I slept with Angelina Jolie? I'm very proud of you. Oh, thank you. Anyway, <laughs> check their comic book out. Now, let me ask you, uh, why is it that no male Jedis wear uh, vinyl? <laughs> they could. They should. Would you like it if they did? Hey, I'd like it. I'd be up for that. Because I have to admit, I'm a big fan of your costume. <laughs> Thanks. Listen, I just wanted to ask you, we have not seen much of you since the age that you had. <laughs> What's going on? What are you talking about? I was just back in X-Men, taking them all on. <laughs> That's right. I don't read X-Men. <laughs> now, Stuart, I want to ask you, what are you working on right now? I've been drawing Bionicle, all these trading cards for DC, and uh, at this show, loads and loads and loads of commissions. The fans just keep me busy. Every time I've come to your booth, 
I've seen it surrounded by beautiful women. What makes you such a pimp? I got the end table, that's what it is. <laughs> women are just lazy and they want to rest you here? Bet, you bet, they come with their boyfriends, their boyfriends go down the aisle and the girls look down the aisle and they're like, God, I don't want anything to do with that. And then they just hang out here. Laura, Roslyn, and uh, uh, Baltar, yes? Mm -hmm. Yes, guys, Baltar. It seems to me a little bit, um, I don't know, it seems to me maybe a bad decision for you to be here, just sort of wasting time while the rest of the people are uh, in space and trying to fight for the survival of humanity, don't you? Recreation is very important for the fleet. I truly believe this. Recreation all the way. This is what Laura Roslyn has missed in her presidency. Now, I have to admit, um, you're fairly dead sexy, and I have quite a thing for redheads. I don't know if you've read a book called Trouble, huh? No, I have not. Really? I'm sorry. No? All right, so I've seen that there may be a silent on the premises. Uh, how do you feel about that? We are in talks of how we're going to detain her. I mean, there's no airlock, so you can't just right out, but... Oh, we have other ways. I heard that you're snug in a silent. Tell me, what's that like? Six is wonderful. She's absolutely wonderful. Because, you know, I've been with a toaster before, but I feel like it's not probably the same thing. Not the same thing at all. All right. H have you ever found that you've, you've haunted children's dreams? So, Paul, tell me a little bit about what you're out here doing today. Uh, raising money for the Hero Initiative, and uh, generally what we're working on is trying to uh, get as much money as we can for people who, back in the day, did the same job as me. You know, I, I write comic books, I'm very lucky, um, got good benefits in the sense that the pay's really good nowadays, and obviously I can make a life doing it. Uh, but back in the day, a lot of the people that worked in our business really didn't get uh, an opportunity for medical insurance and benefits and pension plans, stuff like that. So there's a lot of people that are in a bit of need these days that clearly, you know, I own my job too. And um, I think we're in a similar situation to the NFL, you know, we need to kind of find a way to get some of these people medical attention, um, you know, take care of some of their surgeries and things like that. So that's what Hero Initiative set up to do. And we're playing pool here today to raise money for it. 30 bucks a pot. And um, how much money have you raised so far? Oh, I think we're well up there right now. It's 30 bucks a pop. I've played, um, you know, 60 games. Uh, so we're doing pretty well right now. Yeah, plus we're getting other donations for signing if I sign books or other people, uh, you know, just going to walk away with a book and, and donate some money for it. So we're doing really well right now. Great. And uh, has, uh, has anybody beaten you yet? Uh, we are uh, 62 and 4. So we're doing okay. <laughs>